how to change the oil, spark plugs and oil filter for a SIDU GTI 130 2020. Very simple. You need just a few things. The oil pump, 25 bucks on eBay. Oil, filter, spark plugs and a few spanners and keys. Once you got all those things ready, you may start the jet ski, maybe run it for five minutes, and then replace this cover, take all those screws which you need the T30 you can see it over here unscrew it the only two you have to be careful with them they are those two over here which they have a nuts underneath make sure when you take those ones out you don't lose the nut inside Let the jet ski run probably five minutes. Make sure you start the jet ski first and then connect the hose with the water. And when you turn it off, you turn off the water first and then you turn off the jet ski. Make sure before you take um, this cover off, open the cap. There are another couple of screws here. Sooner you take those ones out, to take this cover off now in order to extract the oil make sure the jet ski was nice and warm leave it sit for a couple of minutes and then uh, and then with this pump Push it in as much as you can. Sometimes it's a bit hard. Just uh, make sure you get right down to the bottom. If you're there. Now make sure the other side. What I use, I use a measured can. Whatever oil comes out, we put in. To make the extraction a bit easier, just take this cut off. And now we're ready to turn the pump on. It's working pretty well. In order to get uh, all the oil out, I already got out nearly 2.5 liters. You need to hold the throttle and then push start do it that for a couple of times you should be able to get all the oil out make sure before you start or turn the j-ski around you get the pipe out put a dipstick in you connect this one back yeah make sure you don't start the j-ski yeah 
hold the throttle, push the start button, it's just gonna turn the engine around. Yep, okay, third time. I'm pretty happy with it. I got out three liters, maybe 2.9. Pretty happy with that. Go to the next stage to get the filter out. In order to do that, you need an um, e-torque E10. Still a bit of oil left there. I'll use the pump to suck it out as much as you can. That's pretty good, pretty good cleanup as well. Just make sure when you put those on, so on, after you put them on, you put some oil on them, make them, it's gonna make it easier to put it back in. Drop it in. much sooner it's, you get a bit tight do maybe another quarter of a turn and that will be hips yep that's it that's good all right in order to replace the spark plugs there is a little push button here 
here, just push it and then unplug it. Push and unplug. Yep. Push and unplug. Yep. you don't drop them get the spark plugs out just make sure you get a, a magnetic one would make your life a bit easier Get the spark plugs out, make sure you measure the distance over here. Make sure you have the same distance on the new ones. All done, adjust, ready to go in. Make sure when you put the new ones in, you put a bit of anti-seize grease on them to make sure you get them easy out and you put a bit of an um, electrical grease on it that will make the contact and uh, anti-rust and everything to work a bit better. Alright, spark plugs in, make sure you don't tie them too much, sooner you get a bit of... Uh, Tightness, just do another half of a turn and that will be more than enough. As soon as you put all the spark plugs in, you put an inch of coils, make sure you put a bit of grease on it, tuck them back in. Spark plugs in, filter in, everything ready to go. Now remember we got our 2.9, we're gonna put in 2.9.
leave the oil to sit for quite a few minutes actually until everything is ready then pull out the dipstick yeah. and make sure the oil is between halfway between those two lines exactly halfway between those two lines perfect we leave it sit and we check it later on after you check the oil and everything it's okay make sure the oil remember it needs to be halfway between those two lines put a cover back on Remember those two screws, they have the nuts underneath, and that's all it, pretty much done.